What's up you guys, I'm KJ Wright and I just got Les Steeds. Yo, what's up, it's Tim. Thanks for tuning back into Within the Lines. It's been great, thanks for all the feedback. We're four episodes in. Today, for episode five, we're filming current Seahawk, former Super Bowl champion, KJ Wright. So stay tuned for some exclusive content. We're gonna chop it up and get him Chris for TV. Let's get it. She got her friends and all that stuff, so. That's tough. It is tough. Man, eight years. Eight years. Eight years, blood, sweat, and tears. Long, and it's went by fast, too. It went by really fast. So, the goal is always to get the 10. You get the 10 years. Here. In general. Yeah, okay. <laughs> get 10, and then uh, evaluate life from there. How's the first eight been? It's been good. You know, uh, being in Seattle has been life changing for me pretty much. Coming from uh, Mississippi, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's, it's real different. It's, uh, it's cool to come up here and get a new perspective on life, this country, and I like it though. You got a little surprise behind you. And I was you like, were facing away from the camera? Yeah, I was, with, I, was, well, I was facing towards the camera, but they walked up behind me. Oh! Yeah, yeah. Is that the D Yeah. Yeah. And uh, Bobby, he was behind me, and he uh, presented me like the, uh, the big picture for like a man of the year stuff, so it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. How did they define the, the award? Oh, this is the, um, for doing the mainly stuff off the field. Okay. So pretty much going into your community. And um, you know, helping out those around you. And um, obviously, you gotta be good on the field too. Right. It's mostly off the field, off the field award. Man. Yeah. You you do do a lot. I remember you said you went over the summer. You were. Yeah, I went to um, over summer with the Haiti to help with a uh, cliff. And um, me and my guys had went to um, Kenya, where we took books to the kids and um, soccer balls. I'm actually going back in June, this June, they'll get their well built. For your foundation, right? Yeah. 
the water project? Yep, yep, water project. How'd that come about? Man, I just noticed that uh, when I was out there, that the, uh, this little girl, she just had dirty water. I said, man, what's... And I, asked them, I started asking the people, like, what's, what's the situation around here? So they gotta walk miles. So, uh, ladies, ladies and young girls gotta walk miles just to get water, and it's every day. So yeah, let's, um, let's help these people out. So we actually get two built out there. Two wells? Yeah, one at the school. So you know, the kids can go to school and uh, take the water back home. The kids are smart, bro. All of them um, bilingual. And um, yeah, they've been learning a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, man of the year, man. So with your caption, have an attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. was, you're an extremely humble guy. From my first time meeting you to now, you know? Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, have an attitude of gratitude. Mm -hmm. That's um, that's just my motto. Just in everything in life, you just gotta, you know, be thankful. And give thanks at, at all times. And um, when life is good, you give thanks. You know, when you hit the wall, you know, there's still things to be thankful for. Cause um, you know, no matter how hard things are, you know, it could be worse. And so, always thankful. Give thanks to those around you. So that stuff goes a long way. I tell my kids, please and thank you. Just always say please and thank you. And people appreciate that. Hey man, the hardest thing is like to give thanks in like the midst, the midst of trouble. Mm. That's, 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 that's the hardest part. When you weather into the storm? Yeah. You, hey, you, you gotta, you still gotta be thankful though. It could be worse. Especially with like, being hurt. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you know what? Even when I was injured, like I had a knee scope. I could have had a career in an injury. You know what I mean? My shit could have been all tore up. I know, hey, thank you. Hey, this is just. Mm. I missed 10 games. It's all mm. good. On my contract here, it's still all good. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I really believe in like, um, like the energy, like you're gonna have a negative bad energy. That could, that could, that could mess you up. That could, that could really mess you up. And um, they say stress slows down healing. And like they, they, when they say like laughter cures things, I think laughter can yeah. heal the body. <laughs> yeah. Appeal. You playing two Super Bowls? <laughs> back to back. Back to back. That's crazy. Yeah, went in there. Got that first Super Bowl. Family came down. Crying and stuff. What was that feeling like? That moment? I mean, you already knew. Come like halftime. Yeah. Not halftime, because halftime's the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, fourth quarter, you're like, you bruh. Yeah. And it really don't get you until the game is over. When you're on that stage? Yeah. <laughs> and um, spotted my girlfriend at the time. Uh-huh. Spotted her first. Then Pops came over. He was crying. You know, thank them. They're, they're, I think I was like, yeah, man, I wouldn't be here without you. Thank, thank my dad for everything. Because he was Pops. one. Yeah, <laughs> Pops one from the beginning. Really put me in everything, at all my games. He didn't miss a game, high school or college. He was there, he was there faithfully. That second one still give me nightmares to this day. Man, I still ain't got over it. Yeah, it's good. Still remember those moments for that last play? Hell yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Shotgun right now. What was, what was everyone doing? Hey! I, I don't remember. I, I, just said, I, I said out loud. Why are we in shotgun? That's crazy. Yeah, I can't. I can't watch that game. Every time I look at, it, I just change the channel. Hold up. Cause I see you watching film a lot. How often do you 
you're obviously you're still a student in the game, you know, mm -hmm. continuously. How often do you go back to old film? Oh, all the time. All the time? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just not too long ago, uh, I went back to my rookie year. And was watching film. Seeing that the, the unis, bro. <laughs> the old uniforms. Yeah. You miss that? Those old uniforms? No. <laughs> I, do, I do miss those times, so. though. Cool. We just wrapped up episode five. Thanks again, KJ. We learned a lot about what KJ does on and off the field. Congratulations again on winning man of the year. This is Dobby. We're hanging out at Kulon Beach, tied behind the lenses as usual. Yeah, stay tuned. Hey, I'm Jordan. We're here at Lucky Dog on the app, and I just got my steez. Yeah, Liberty Select days. Oh.